Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from SimpliCode and today we are going to discuss object literals method in JavaScript. So before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from SimpliCode. So without any further delay, let's get started. So object literals method in JavaScript are defined as a comma separated list of name value pairs wrapped nicely in curly braces. So we already came across this method in the previous video when we talked about defining objects in JavaScript, right? So we are talking again about this method because in the following video where we will be discussing constructors in JavaScript, I want you guys to understand this method thoroughly so that it will be easy for you guys to understand the difference between the object literal method and the constructor method. So this method is all about wrapping up of all the data of an object in a nice and tidy way. So the object literal method is one way of creating an object, right? And the object constructor method is another way of creating an object. So let's discuss the advantages of using the object literal method. So the first advantage of using the object literal method is we don't have to create an empty object. So what we can do is we can directly add properties and behaviors while creating the object. So let's take an example wherein we will print the area and the parameter of a rectangle. So we'll create an object first. So let's say we are defining an object and here we will write where and the name of the object will be let's say rect1 because we are printing the area and the parameter of a rectangle. Then we have a pair of curly braces for the body of an object. So here we are with an object which is named as rect1 and now let's say we have two properties which are the length and the width of a rectangle. So let's define them as well. So we'll write the property name and so let's say the first property is length. So this is the first property and then we'll use colon. So here one thing to notice is we are using colon in place of equals to to assign a value. Right, we are assigning a value to this length property and let's say the value is 5 and then it will be followed by a comma. Then we'll write here the next property. Let's say width is the next property and we'll again use colon and let's say the value of width is 10. And then we'll separate this key value pair. So one thing here to notice is that we are using the key value pair. So here in this case, the keys are length and width and the values for these keys are 5 and 10. So remember this guys because we need them in following videos. So let's move ahead and we'll declare the methods as well. I hope you guys are aware of the syntax for how to use a method within an object. So let's define here the methods as well. So we'll use two methods. One for the area and the another one for parameter. So let's say the method for area is get area and then we'll use colon and then we'll write here function and then we have the body of the function so what this get area method will return is it will return the area of the rectangle right so it will return so the area of rectangle is let me write it here so the area of rectangle is length into width or we'll write here w so it will return this dot length into this dot width right so one thing to notice here is we are using the this keyword again so this keyword refers to the object it belongs to so here in this program this will refer to the object basically right here in this case it refers to object rect1 so let's use the other method as well the next method will be get parameter and then we'll use the colon then we have the function keyword and the body of this method so what this particular method will return is it will return the parameter of a rectangle so the parameter of a rectangle is 2 into length plus width or we can say 2 into length plus 2 into width so here in this case it will return 2 into this dot length plus 2 into this dot width right so let's print these values as well so we'll write here 
document dot write and we'll print all the four properties or we can say we'll print the length then we'll print the width and then we'll print the area of the rectangle and finally we'll print the parameter right so let's say we are using the h2 tag here to make it more clear for you guys so here we will write the first sentence will be the length of rectangle is and then we'll print the value of length then finally we'll use the h2 tag again now we'll copy this statement and we'll print it four times because we want to print all the four values right we want to print the length width area and parameter so we'll write here width and here in the next line we will print the area and finally we will print the parameter right so we'll change the values as well so we, here we have two properties the length and the width and then we have two methods the first one is get area and the second one is get parameter so here we are done with our printing process so let's save this program now and see here we have four values the length of rectangle is 5 as we have given the value 5 and then we have the width as 10 and then we have the area as 50 because area is length into width which is 10 into 5 or 5 into 10 50 and then finally we have the parameter which is 2 into length which is 10 and then we have 2 into 10 that is 20 because width is 10 right so 20 plus 10 30 so the parameter of rectangle is 30 so we discussed this method again to make it more clear to you guys whenever we are working with a single object or when we know everything about the properties and the behavior of an object we should always use the object literal method that's because this method runs faster and we have to write minimum code while using the object literal method so we discussed this method to clarify to you guys that when we use constructors in javascript that is in the following video it should not create any sort of confusion or such thing so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through constructors if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you